obviously devastating news i'm heartbroken speechless like gutted we've been working so hard over here everyone in this camp and i just feel bad for everyone involved in this event the whole undercard this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us but i do uh value mike's health first and foremost love that guy I have so much respect for him and um i want mike to be healthy and he says he still is gonna knock me out and i bought myself some time <laughs> so mike is still talking shit over there uh but mike if you want to do this like you said behind closed doors behind the scenes you've said you want to do this in q4 you just need a little bit of time so i'm ready whenever you are this is too big of an opportunity i think this fight's going to change the world and i turn all my l's into w's that's a motto i live by and the universe makes no mistakes so let's see what's in store but sorry this didn't work out to everyone the fans love you guys the problem child jake paul is blasting mike tyson for bailing out on their boxing fight you heard that right due to an unexpected medical emergency the heavyweight legend Mike Tyson has withdrawn his name from the mega fight with Jake Paul. Truth be told, this is the best thing that could have happened to the boxing community. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Let's face up here, guys. Let's face up here. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Hey, let's bring the ladies up. We'll bring up all four fighters now for one last. One of the reasons why boxing fans are glad that Tyson called it off is that this cancellation marks Jake Paul's downfall. Yep, Jake needed this fight more than he needed oxygen to breathe. So you could only imagine how furious Paul is with the situation, and especially with Mike Tyson. Jake is now blasting Mike Tyson for bailing out last minute. This drama is only getting bigger by the minute. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this drama. On a flight from Miami to Los Angeles, Mike Tyson had to face a tougher challenge than Jake Paul, an ulcer flare-up. Take your mask down. Yeah, take your mask down. Sure. You don't need that. Get her in. Okay, let's let's go. Come on in, back. Thank, Thank you. you. Mike. Yes. Hi. Hi. Is she a tennis player? No, I'm oh. a new lawyer. And can I tell you a funny story? So we're learning They're about... studying about you. No, 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 we're learning about assault right now, okay? And so my professor goes, if a little five-year-old girl goes up to you and she threatens to punch you, is that assault or not? Because clearly it's not very offensive. You're not intimidated. It's not assault. It's you not assault. Like that, exactly, but you're an example in our law class. And you <laughs> could sue her for assault if you wanted to. So. Yes, you could, so. Assault, would you be assaulted? Yeah. I would press charge you. I hope you want it. It's all you want. Mike. Okay, what's up? Let's take a picture. One more, one more, Mike. Yes, that's my dad. Oh, God. Jack of all trades, Ellie. Do it all. You need two more hands. No, brother, Troy is the... Can he's irreplaceable. Troy's irreplaceable. Hey, we're going to work and get it. Moments before takeoff, Mike appeared to be in solid condition and was even spotted taking pictures with the fans. But hey, life can throw some unexpected punches at you, and let's just say this was a huge blow to Mike Tyson. Looks like this bout will not be seeing the light of day anytime soon. A medical emergency, especially at this age, is not something to be taken lightly. Mike has got to prioritize his health over a dumb fight against Paul. Now, while the problem child is bummed up about this news, the boxing community could not be any more satisfied. Most pros wanted this fight to get canceled, and they all had pretty solid reasons. Hear it from Demetrius Johnson, who helped put things into perspective. Anthony Pettis. There's so many guys who are younger than Mike Tyson and a little bit older than him that he can beat that have a big name. But I just think him fighting Mike Tyson, um, you know, the guy, he's 58. Like, I don't want to see Mike Tyson get hurt. Like, and what, for, for what, right? I mean, that's just my personal opinion. And it's nothing against Jake Paul or Mike Tyson. It's like, you know, there's no reason why him fighting a 58 year old. Like, I'm sure, like, I'm sure we could find someone. I'm sure Eddie Hearn could find someone for Jake Paul to fight. 
Like this is like the stupidest fucking thing that's happening right now. It's like you you tell me there's literally nobody out there that can fight Jake Paul. That's his age. That has eight no as a boxer. Like Demetrius Johnson spoke facts. Guys, Mike is pushing sixty, and Jake is half his age. Something about this matchup does not feel morally correct at all. I mean, who would want to see an old man receive a brutal beatdown by a fresh boxer who's been very much active lately in the boxing scene? Not me, that's for sure. And neither does Jake's biggest rival, KSI. And I honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Literally, he knocks out Mike Tyson and he's being what? Uh, 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 an OAP. <laughs> what does that? What does that what mean? Old age, but old age. Pen uh, uh, old age pen <laughs> actually, we should say this right now. JJ went out last night. Yeah, after yeah, the fight. Sorry, guys. Did you? Uh, no, I actually didn't. Oh, I JJ did didn't go out. But last I've had night. like three hours sleep, so I'm like, I bro, I'm just gone. An OAP. OAP. Yeah, yeah. So he's he's 57. It's what? Yeah, it's Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yeah. Like, yes, in his prime. This would have been crazy, but now it's like, oh, this is just sad. The list of people against the idea of this matchup is never ending, and you better add one more name to the list, Dana White. Yep, that's right. Earlier this week, Mike Tyson has been re announced a return to boxing. I know in the past you said you didn't want him to fight again. You tried to talk him out of fighting again. Have you spoken to him about this one? He gets mad when I do this, but Mike's 60, man. I, I love Mike Tyson, you know, personally as a friend, and. He's one of my favorite athletes of all time. Um, I don't know, let's, let's see what he can go in there and put together a training camp and come in. And, you know, I, I don't like to see guys fighting. Uh, it's a 31 year age difference during that fight. Just, you know, you know, you guys know what I think of that stuff. Honestly, this is just sad and a desperate looking move by Jake Paul. Like, are you really about to fight a guy who is as old as your dad? Be for real, Paul. And not to mention there is no win-win situation for Paul. Knocking out Mike Tyson, a guy who is almost 60, is not a good look, my friend. And let's say if Mike wipes the floor with Jake, then Jake better go knocking back at Disney's door. You're watching Disney Channel. Oh, no looker. First ever. Oh, nailed it. And keep in mind, folks, it's not just the Jake Paul critics who have been against this fight. But the fans aren't also buying into this whole Mike Tyson vs. Jake Paul nonsense. Fans are relieved that Tyson is getting the help he needs and staying as far as possible from the problem child. But hey, an injury hasn't stopped Mike stepping into the ring before. So who's to say it'll stop him now? Well, let's get a word from Mike Tyson who had a few things to say following the cancellation of this fight. Unfortunately, due to my ulcer flare-up, I have been advised by my doctor to lighten my training for a few weeks to rest and recover. My body is in better overall shape than it has been since the 1990s and I will be back to my full training schedule soon. Jake Paul, this may have bought you some time, but in the end you will still be knocked out and out of boxing for good. I appreciate everyone's patience and can't wait to deliver an unforgettable performance later this year. Dr. Both was. 78 or something, 79. Mm -hmm. I was juvenile and spoffed. It's the first time we heard on the radio rappers to like. We said, what the f was hey, that? Tell me about it, man. Well, we was locked up, and um, it's always the radio in the bathroom. Well, if you ask me, there are a lot of holes in this story. If this medical emergency was serious enough to postpone the fight, why would Tyson tweet this days after the flight incident? Now, feeling 100%, even though I don't need to be to beat Jake Paul. Mike Tyson knows more than he's letting on, but if you thought Mike was the only one with skeletons in his closet, you couldn't be more wrong. Because there is one man who seems to know everything about everything, the one and only Dana White. He made some interesting comments on Mike crossing his name out from the mega fight. And this is something you guys can't afford to miss out on. Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul is delayed. Um, I, I know you're close with Mike. I guess, are, are you happy that they're looking out for his health in that instance? And do you even think it should be rescheduled, period, given uh, this ulcer flare-up? 100%. Um, yeah, obviously, I know a lot about it, but I'm not going to talk about it publicly, Yeah, you know. Um, yeah. 
I, I, for the first time probably ever in my life, I have no comment on something. I, it's, that's, that's Mike's world, and you know he gets pissed at me every time I talk about that stuff. Good for him, and they'll figure it out. No matter the reason, Jake Paul is handling this cancellation terribly. He's absolutely losing it. And trust me, you don't want someone like Jake Paul coming after you. Jake Paul desperately needs this fight. His last two matches haven't been great, and critics are loudly proclaiming, He's washed up. Honestly, who can blame them? Jake Paul's performance has dropped so much that most fans probably can't even name his last two opponents. This fight with Mike Tyson was his big chance to reclaim his glory. We all saw the press conferences. They were getting intensely heated. There are a number of people who also say, Mike Tyson is risking serious injury against a powerful, 27-year-old who is in his prime. What do you say to that? I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off the other day. He's fat. I thought, did you start training already? It's crazy how Mike at his age has a better physique than Jake Paul. Despite the huge age gap, many of the pros picked Mike to come out victorious in this fight. I mean, say what you want about the guy, but we've all seen the training footage. Mike still has that beast inside him that's just waiting to unleash. Make no mistake, Mike Tyson still knows his way around the ring. He's got that vicious power, the quick hands, and that peek boy style is just as lethal as it was back in the day. Day four, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of War and get ready, baby. Fire in the house. Now that's a man on a mission. Now compare that to, to what Paul has been doing in the gym. It doesn't take a big brain to see Mike Tyson is still levels above Jake Paul. Sight, you really thought I was partying? We out here, high altitude, Colorado Springs, with the Olympians Team USA Boxing. Let's get it. Let's go. Oh. Oh. And you don't got to take my word for it. Hear it from Mike's former opponent, Roy Jones Jr. Fun for the fans. The fans love to see fun. Uh, it's so much better than Mike Tyson fighting another active heavyweight that's truly active right now because he could get hurt. Find a YouTuber, he's making up the same, making he probably even more money, but less risk because Jake Paul can't hurt Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson can hurt Jake Paul, but Jake can't really hurt Mike. And you obviously fought Mike Tyson a few years ago. How how surprised were you with you know? How well Mike performed after that long out of the ring? Very surprised, which is why I'm telling you that I don't think Jake Paul can hurt him because it was hard for me to hit him. And I'm way faster at hitting somebody than Jake Paul. And he's not the only one. Joe Rogan also backed the heavyweight legend. Well, speaking of Mike Tyson, this, these people that think that he don't stand a chance against Jake Paul, that like this shouldn't even like he because he's too old. I was like, I think you're, I think you're crazy. Well, they're I, definitely uninformed. Yeah, because the, the, here's the thing. He is 57 years old. He, he will be 58 when they fight. He, he has had a long fighting career. He, he has been knocked out by massive men like Lennox Lewis and Evander Holyfield. You know, he's, he's had a lot of blows and, you know, it's yeah. a long, you know, long past the time where most people ever fight. You know, the only person that ever fought competitively in at after age 50 is Bernard Hopkins and Archie Moore. Archie Moore did it back in no, the day. Former was this was Jake's opportunity to prove his haters wrong and to end all the criticism surrounding his name. But with Mike out of the fight, there's nothing that Jake can do. So it makes sense why this Paul brother is furious over this fight not being able to come to life. You're no good for boxing! Fuck you, you punk-ass white boy! Increasing fight of pay! Fighting on a pedestal. Look what I've done for this sport. It won't shit without me. I'll be watching on Netflix. I'm here. You're, you're going to see. Yeah, you will be watching. Everyone's going to be watching. No shit. I'm just so glad to have the honor to step in the ring with one of the most brutal, most vicious, and most ruthless champions there's ever been. That's my style is impetuous. My defense, defense is impregnable. He wants to rip your heart out of evil children. But on July 20th, I promise you. I'll come out victorious. You know, Jake, honestly, this is a huge fight. I got to give it to you. The way you're blending two generations of Shut boxing. Shut the fuck up. I wish you had kids so I could stomp on their testicles. Stomp on their testicles. 
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.